with your feet hip distance apart. From here, I'm going to bend forward, reach my hands towards the wall, and then allow my torso to sink forward. You might need to adjust a little bit the distance to find the right angle. I'm going to try to come to the point where I'm creating a nice angle for my body, 90 degrees. From here, I'm pressing my hands into a wall, hands, and pushing myself away from the wall to create a stretch for my torso. Simultaneously, pushing my feet into the floor, grounding myself, and thinking about reaching my hips slightly further back, elongating through the back of my legs. Try to avoid sinking with your low back and collapsing in your shoulders. Maintain core activation and neutral position so there is no stress in your low back and it's genuine encouragement of movement. From here you can encourage a little bit more stretch by bending your knees and then tucking the tailbone down and rounding your back here and gently returning and lengthening. And if you can straighten your legs up, keep them softened. I'll show you one more time, bend your knees, tuck the tailbone down, pull your tummy in, round your back and create as much stretch as possible for your lower back. Slowly return, remember not to release your abdominals completely, so you're passively allowing your back to over arch and then straighten your legs. From here,